guys, Caleb here, and last night, the Muppet CMF series, the Lego Muppet CMF series, actually got, like, leaked out by somewhere, and I gotta say, it looks dope. So today, we're gonna be sitting down and talking about this new CMF series. If you're gonna have a Muppet CMF series, you need to have Kermit the Frog himself, and Lego just simply killed it with this one. I mean, the head mold they have for it is perfect. The sort of like rainbow mold he has, and especially his banjo, I do really love that unique banjo piece they gave him. And overall, this is an incredible looking figure. Next up, we have Janice, who I honestly think just something about her looks a little bit strange. I'm not sure if it's sort of the color scheme she's got going for her with the orange skin there, or like the weird hair she has with the hat combo, and that whole head mold is very, very odd. It's a very interesting looking figure, alright? Definitely not one of the best of the series, maybe it's just because one that I don't recognize, but I'm not a massive fan of Janice. Next up is Fozzie Bear, who Lego absolutely just hit it out of the park with Mr. Fozzie Bear here. He looks incredible. I mean, down to like the fur that they gave him, like on his chest and his legs and his waist and his footprinting, to his like uniquely molded head and his banana and his little microphone. This figure is just like simply perfection. I don't think this figure can get any better than this. So we have Miss Piggy, who's obviously probably one of the most iconic characters from Muppets. And Lego also absolutely killed her. The head mold that they gave her with the hair and stuff I think is incredible. I also really do like her little poster she has there. That's an incredible little poster piece as well as the arm printing. And the overall dress she's wearing is really cool. Overall, an excellent figure. Animal has got to be one of my favorites of the series. Lego just hit it out of the park with this guy. Again, the head mold. They have a unique head mold for each of these characters. So 12... Unique head molds just for one scene in my series, which just seems absolutely insane to me. I also love his little drum set, like that's such a cool little inclusion to have with it. As well as the drumsticks and the arm printing, overall the printing on this figure is spectacular, and this is an excellent one. We have Waldorf, who's another one that Lego like, just absolutely killed. I love his little like ZZZ sort of panel he's got there, I'm not really sure what that's about. I love his suit especially, I feel like that could be used with really really good like custom figures in the future with like James Bond stuff. I really like his teacup. His little medium legs, and especially that sort of like skin colored, unique molded head. It's really wild, and the mustache. Lego hit it out of the park with this one. Another one of my favorites is the chef dude. Dude, they absolutely killed it with this one. The arm printing with like the stripes is absolutely crazy, as well as his two little whisks. He has, he has two whisks. And that little sort of like fruit thing that is also included in the set, as well as the entire head mold. Just one of the craziest head molds I think I've ever seen hands down. Like, the head itself is just like, wild. Lego just crushed this figure. Of course we have Statler, who's another great one with this sort of skin, like, colored, molded head, which does look a little bit odd with that massive chin, but I'm sure it's pretty accurate. Again, the suit in this figure could be used for some really, really good, like, James Bond custom figures in the future. I love his little computer accessory that he's got. It's overall a really good figure, especially the suit piece, oddly enough. I've said like five of these are my favorite so far, but Gonzo might be my favorite. His little like chili vest that he has, as well as that wacky bow tie, especially the pants and the little chicken he has, and like they nailed his beak, and this figure is just wild. I'm just amazed how good this figure looks, honestly. We also have Ruff who looks just adorable. I especially love the little like sheep music he has there. That's a lot of music from the musician's standpoint as well as the little sort of bust that's on the side there. And of course the unique molded head again just absolutely kills it. We also have Beaker, who is just like a wild, wild looking character. I do really like that sort of like little remote he has, like the detailing they did on that, as well as the unique head molded piece. It's very, very odd here and I'm not sure what it could be used for, but I'm sure creative people can put those in mocks somewhere, as well as the sort of like neon green suit he's got. Overall, a decent figure. Last but not least, we have Bunsen, who's really, really great. I love his sort of, like, sicky green skin tone he's got, as well as the dope lab, lab coat. Like, that lab coat is so, so cool, as well as the little sign speaker he's got there, and his little glasses. Overall, this is an incredible figure. There you have it, guys. That is the Muppet CMF series. I'm not sure when exactly it's releasing, and I can only assume it releases for 5 US dollars, at least I hope it does, as that's what most CMFs release for. Let me know your favorite CMF in the comments below, the Super Production style for now, and this morning I read this article by the Brothers Brick about sort of the stuff that's going on in the world right now and how it kind of relates to LEGO, that I just, I thought it was pretty powerful, and I liked it, so I'm going to include it at the end of this video. Peace out.